Okay, third graders, we're going to use the same exact strategy, but we're going to practice it with some slightly larger numbers where the first graders were staying in the, te staying in the teens and maybe the low twenties. You guys in third grade get to add bigger numbers. For example, uh, earlier we talked about seven plus four. You might be doing seven plus 14. Similar problem, similar strategy, bigger numbers. Let's go back to the number line and do a practice problem together in the video. And then I will show you what your work is going to look like. Okay, third graders, we're going to do basically the same thing, but we're going to use bigger numbers. Let's start with 25 plus 16. Now, already this is a little more complicated, but we can use the same strategy to help us. We want to land on the friendly tens. When I say friendly tens, I mean those numbers that when you're skip counting by 10, you would land on them. 10, 20, 30, 40, you get the idea. So let's color code our numbers and get started. Oh, let's do the 25 will be green and we'll use, let's use blue for the 16. Okay. So to use this strategy, we need to pick a start number on the number line. I'm going to start at 25 because it's a little bigger. Now we're going to add the 16, but look at where the 25 is and where that 30 is. When we add 16, we're definitely going to land on that 30 or we're going to have to pass it to get to where we're going. So my first question is how many would we need to take out of the 16 to land us on that 30? Ooh, I better keep it like that so we can see. If you said five more, you're exactly right. 25 plus five gets us to 30. Okay, so we've used up five out of the 16. And what would be left is 11. You can figure that out uh, by using your fact family or by quickly counting back in your head, you know, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay, so now I have to do 30 plus 11. I would love to, 11. Yeah, you know what, 11 has a whole 10 in it. We could go 30 plus 10 is 40 and land on the next 10. I like that for two reasons. Reason number one, it keeps us accurate because we're keep it staying on those friendly tens. The other reason I love that is because 30 plus 10, you're, that was probably pretty fast for your brain. Okay, let's see, we used up the five, we used up part of that 11. How much is left? Yeah, just one more. So we'll do one little bitty hop. Okay, to figure out the answer, we need to know where we landed and we landed on 41. Now, before we do one more practice problem, you see how this is similar to what the second graders were doing. We want to figure out our start number, then figure out how many we would need to get to the next friendly 10. Because once we're at those tens, adding the rest of it gets a lot easier. Okay, last problem. Let's go, let's go further down the number line. Let's go big. All right, let's go. Hmm, 38, whoa, <laughs> 38 plus 14. Oh, and equals mystery box unknown number. 
okay. Now, if you feel like you've got this strategy figured out, go ahead and work along, work ahead or work along with me. Then you can come back and see if your work matches up. Okay, color coding, there's my 38. And I'll do blue for my 14. All right. So first we find the 38. There it is. If it helps you, mark out the friendly tens in this area. There was a 30. Here's a 40. Ooh, that's really close. We'll definitely land on that. Here's a 50. There's a 60. Okay. So we want to land on those tens to help us stay accurate. All right. 38 plus 14. Well, it'll take us two to get to that 10. So we'll pull two out of the 14. Uh, what would be left? 12. Now, from 40 to 50, that's just 10. You know that. I know that. It's so much easier when you're landing on the tens. All we've got left then, as I break that 10 out of the 12, is a 2. 50 plus 2 lands us on the answer, which is 52. Now it's your turn. Your assignment is going to be very similar to the second graders. First, I'd like you to come and practice solving some problems on the number line just like this. You can think of them the same way I did. You choose a start number, choose a number to add to it that is, you know, you can, if you want to make it harder, you make the number a little bigger, easier, make the number smaller. Um, and then solve it just like we've been practicing. Your assignment is also a Google form. And if you want to have this number line open in a different tab while you do your Google form, that's a great strategy because then you get to practice and turn in your work at the same time. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.